talk to you about some tax planning before the end of 2012. I don't need to tell you that this is an election year and my background, I'm an ex-IRS agent, I'm a certified financial planner and I teach CPAs and attorneys all around the country on tax laws for the upcoming tax season. But if you read the newspaper, we have what they're talking about is a tax or metagon or whatever you want to say in January of 2013 unless Congress acts <clears throat> to extend the so-called Bush tax cuts. And let me tell you what that means. That means that the two top marginal tax rates can go up from 33 and 35 respectively to 36 and 39.6 respectively effective January 1 of 2013. This means a capital gains tax under the Bush tax cuts which are currently 15% are going to go up automatically to 20% for sales on or after January 1st of 2013. Now couple that with a couple of hidden taxes in the health care bill of 2010 that take effect January 1st of next year, namely the 3.8% so-called Medicare tax on capital gains, dividends, and interest. And we literally are facing some pretty big obstacles come January 1st of 2013. So here's what I want you to do. If you are considering selling properties or selling stocks and mutual funds, at least go talk to your CPA or your enrolled agent, accountant, whatever, and find out what they think is going on with potential tax law as of January 1st of next year. Because if Congress doesn't act, those changes that I just went through, plus the 3.8% Medicare tax on unearned income, will take effect January 1st, 2013. My point is this. If you're considering selling, should you sell this year and be guaranteed lower tax rates or wait till next year and you won't know what those tax rates are going to be until late, late, late this year, if not early into January of 2013. Thanks. I just want to give you a heads up on this. Please go get professional counsel on this if you're considering selling this year or next year.